The area is going to need a tremendous rebuilding effort, and sadly, that does create a lot of opportunities for people that really don't have great intentions to take mm -hmm. advantage of the situation. Well, consumer investigator Don Dare on your side tonight in Gatlinburg joins us live. And Don, this is something we see so often in the wake of natural disasters, a rush of offers, people looking to make a quick buck. Yeah. Uh, you bet, Lori. Contractors uh, they're from out of state, they're called storm chasers. Remember, they came into our area shortly after the hail storm a few years ago? Well, this firestorm was far more devastating and widespread, and you can bet those folks with license plates from out of state are waiting to move into this area. With so many homes and cabins either damaged or destroyed by last week's wildfire, once the fire zone areas open up to the public, it's likely unscrupulous contractors may move into the affected zones looking for a quick buck. Coming from all over the place, all of the United States, they look for opportunities when there is damage in a given area to, to kind of move in and take advantage of the disaster. Dan Mitchell is president of the Home Builders Association of Greater Knoxville. He's built many log and timber homes in Gatlinburg. He says with staggering property losses for hundreds of people in Gatlinburg and Sevier County, fly-by-night contractors are bound to sweep in with their fast-talking, slick salesmen. Well, typically there's no incentive for them to provide any quality workmanship. They're only in for a short duration of time. They get in, they get out, they collect the money and they leave. And then they leave it upon the homeowner, especially uh, with issues if it's uh, a roof assembly or a complete construction. If there's warrantable items, there's nobody to call to to have them come back and make those repairs. One of the worst mistakes a homeowner can make is signing a piece of paper without doing his or her homework. I agree 100%. You know, obviously you need to check the, the identification of the individual, see where their license is at, also where their place of business is, check their references. That's easy to find. If they're not willing to give you a list of references, not willing to give you a copy of a business license or a local contractor's license, then you don't need to be doing business with them. Now, here's how homeowners and businesses can avoid being scammed. Ask what kind of insurance each contractor carries. Get more than one estimate. Don't be pushed into signing a contract right away. Get everything in writing and ask to see the contractor's driver's license and write down the number of the license plate on his or her vehicle. And if that license plate is from out of state, you do not want to do business with them. The key is working with local licensed contractors.